Welcome back to Autonauts. We're going to continue our goal today of upgrading our town over here. Get them upgraded to the next level housing. As well as upgrade our bots to the next level, make them faster, and be able to carry more. In order to get better bots, we need a wood shaping bench so that we can make good gears. These require a whole bunch of things. That fashion icon means it needs to be placed on the floor. Uh, square frame, pole, plank, crude blade, and crank. We don't have cranks being assembled yet, so let's go over to our structural workbenches. This needs a floor as well. I believe I have some floors already built. And let's set the recipe over here for a crank, and we'll get the bots making cranks so we can put a wood shaping bench down to make good gears. And then we can set up our uh, Mark II bots production. We can change these guys all over to make Mark II, and then we'll, we'll create a bot to upgrade all the other bots so that we don't have to go around and do it. Now that those are up and running, we can uh, upgrade our bot stations here to... We'll have to reprogram all our bots to get the new parts. Drag them over here. Then we can run over here and click the upgrade button and see what they take. I think they could take quite a bit of materials to upgrade, but it'll be worth it. Our bots will start working on that. It requires four logs, eight panels, and six square frames. So quite a bit of lumber, and we have to do this three times. So we'll get those up and running, and we'll get our first Mark II bots going. While we're waiting for those, I've got this mystical head built a long time ago. It takes parts that you don't want anymore, and you can just throw them away. So it works out nicely. There's a broom that also sweeps up parts, but that takes rebuilding this one. You can just throw stuff in, and it automatically just disappears. So I have a whole bunch of old bots that I've been saving that I can get rid of finally. They're in the trash one here. So we'll call them all over to me. There's a whole, looks like there's 24 bots in the trash pile. Make them drop everything because you can't throw them away if they're... Then you can just pick up the bots. Throw them in there. Alright, we've got some upgraded bots here. They're quite a bit smaller. I don't let their size fool you. They can carry more and they're much faster. So I've, I've built some upgrade bots. To give you an example, I'll call this guy over. As soon as he cuts in the radius, the bots will come upgrade him. He's just looking at an upgrade of the si not radius of this sign here. but And he'll do that. He'll look for the head and take it back over to the mystic stone head and get rid of it. And that way, any bots in this up in this fence scenario will be upgraded. What's nice about this is I'm going to pause the upgrade bots so they don't upgrade somebody on the way. But you can grab the sign, bring it over to the say the wood area here. And we're going to upgrade all the bots in the wood area. We'll get over here. We'll just change this radius to. Any bot in this area will get upgraded. It'll take some time, but over time they'll all get upgraded to level, I guess, two bots, and we'll be much better off. Let's just set them on their way. It does need some babysitting. If they catch a bot right here and the head falls outside the radius, I either have to move the head back in the radius or just stop them and restart them, and they'll continue on their way. Then I'll have to come back and clean up the parts later. Okay, we got a couple things accomplished. One, we started a cereal farm up here, which I can see a cow keeps sneaking in, eating the cereal as they harvest it. So let's put up a uh, fence and a gate so that the cow can't get in anymore. That'll keep us from eating our crop. And down here, it, this is going to take quite a few guys. Right now I only have three or four assigned to it, but in going forward we're going to need a boatload of cereal and straw, so we'll end up assigning probably close to 20 bots up here, but right now I just have one uh, hoeing the ground, so he's tilling it, and then one guy chopping it down, and the seeds get flailed, and then they get stored. And then down here I put some guys harvesting clay, 
so that we were able to build some ovens over here. And that way we can take a look at what level three food is going to be. Right now we're doing spiced berries. So we're gonna move up to stewed berries, which would be level three. So we're gonna need water and clay pots. So we'll use that clay, put a clay station down. All right, clay pots are set up. We have two guys making clay pots. I just grabbed clay from the crate here and make pots out of it. I have one guy collecting them, putting them in the bin. This is fuel for the furnaces, or the kilns, I should say. And I have two guys making, cooking them, and one guy collecting them, putting them in here. And they, there's a guy that transfers them up to here. We only transfers them if they're, if this is less than 50% full. That way, because eventually we'll uh, start collecting pots. They'll use the pots up here and they'll actually give us the pots back when we feed them. So we'll prioritize collecting those and putting those into here. And that way they'll only bring down from the area down here if they're less than 50%. So then I have right now six cooking pots set up. I've only have one active with water. My water bucket can only carry one thing of water right now, so I'm going to try to upgrade my buckets first so that I, I can not have a dozen guys filling water on these things. And I've also been building floors and walls like crazy so that we can go ahead and start fencing all this stuff off and force the bots to take the pathway. They walk faster on the floor in here, so we're going to force them to take that way. Let's also start the upgrade on this thing, the research center. Uh, we've been wasting wasting all this wolf up here just letting it go to waste so it's gonna take forever because it's we don't have level 3 wolf yet but it's better than letting it sit there now that we have level 2 food we're also gonna need level 2 clothes I believe once we upgrade the houses they will require clothing clothing looks like we can do the poncho and or the tunic. I think we'll probably do both. But so it needs a rocking chair and wool blanket. Wool blanket needs wool. Wool needs fleece. And fleece needs a sheep. So it's time to put some animals in. I originally had planned for them up here, but I think I'm actually going to do a row of animals over here. That way I can grow hay over here and put the animal bins right here and it'll all be in one area. So we got to go explore this area real quick. And we'll have to get our helper bots over here to take this forest out. Nice little area for our sheep and cows down here with two barns. You throw three hay bales and two cows or two sheep in there, and you will get a cow or a sheep back. So you'll, if you put two cows in, you'll end up with three cows. Uh, and up here, I have a nice little area that they're going to grow grass. That'll be turned into hay to feed the animals. So they'll work on digging that up so I can plant grass here. And then all we have left to do is go find some animals, so I will go exploring and looking for sheep and cows. Found them. Found a cow right here that I'm holding. And there's, I believe, a sheep right here. So they were all the way at the edge of the map. So I gotta haul them all the way back up here. So let's get them in their new homes and then we'll breed them with hay once I find. I gotta find two of each. Alright, so we got the animals up and running. We have sheep in here, cows up here. Cows I'm not doing anything with right now, they're just kind of hanging tight. The sheep right now, I have a guy bringing down hay. He drops one here, drops the second one here, and a third one here. And by the time he drops the third one here, this first one's gone. So that's how I'm feeding them right now. We'll unlock a feeding trough later. And then they, once, they, once they've eaten enough, they'll have a fleece that don't need to be sheared. This guy comes over, shears them, puts the fleece in the storage here. Hey, up here, these guys are just cutting grass until uh, this is full. The, there's little guys with pitchforks down here. 
Flying around, they pick up the grass. Once they pick up five grass, it turns it into a hay bale. And then a guy comes and collects it. Started cotton from over here because why not? So cotton works kind of similar to cereal where you have to thresh it. Uh, so they harvest cotton until this thing is full. And this thresher guy here looks at the lint here and the cereal seed here. Because when you thresh the cotton, it makes both of those. So once, if either of these are not full, he threshes. But you can see it's not quite balanced. There's a little extra cereal there. Not too bad, though. Or, I'm sorry, cotton seed. Anyway, so the lint comes down to the clothing production line here. And lint gets stored in this box. Fleece gets stored up here. And then they take cotton lint to the spinning wheel here, makes thread. It's stored over here. This thread gets moved to the rocking chair to make cotton cloth. Cotton cloth gets stored up here in the pallet. And they take finally from the pallet down to the rocking chair down here, making a tunic and it's stored over here. So that's level three clothing. I have the similar line for fleece set up. It basically comes down to the spinning wheel, then to the rocking chair, and then down to there. It's a little out of order, but it uh, looks nicer this way. I tried organizing it and it came out the best this way. So now that we have level three clothes, level three food, we can start working on level three houses. Level three houses are, I believe, a log cabin. And it's built in three stages. You can see at the bottom of the screen here. First stage is six straw, second stage is six logs, and then six planks. So we have all that so we can put some of these down. And our guides will start building them. I'm not sure if I have a straw builder yet, but while they work on building the rest of those houses, we can start transferring our guides to the new homes. Should give us evolved folk. Level three looks like they're gonna require clothing now, which we knew. Now it gives us a hundred love instead of ten love, so that's good because the research is taking like fifteen, twenty thousand love per research right now, so it's when it was when we were only making 10 love at a time, it took forever to make research happen. So we'll have to change our feeders out and make them grab the new food. And then I think these need planks to be maintained. We'll have to wait till one deteriorates and see what they need. But we have all our houses upgraded. All our citizens are level 10 or level 3 now. So they are cranking out these sort of small hearts times 10. These are times a hundred the big hearts here. So research will go much faster. We've unlocked our first research already, which is the mechanical saw. So we're gonna work on upgrading these these stations to the mechanical saw, which is this right here. We're gonna build nine of them. We'll work on that and then we'll move them up here and replace these stations with the bigger saws. Those are built. They just need to move into place, but first we gotta clean up this area and make room for them. So let's get rid of these weeds, pumpkins, cereal, and uh, fence it in and make it look good. And there we go. Looks all nice and clean now. Updated with the mechanical saws. So uh, let's just set our guys loose and see if I updated the programming appropriately. Planks. Poles. And pegs. So we'll keep an eye on them just to make sure that they're all doing what they're supposed to be doing. It looks like they're making planks. We're collecting them, throwing them on here. Not making poles yet, but that's probably because. Yeah, because there were no planks. So they're lining up now to make planks or poles. So looks like everything's working. Let's take a look at level four clothing. See so right now we're currently making ponchos and so ponchos are level three. So the next one would be a jumper level four. That just takes an extra wool blanket and some string. And the dress is the step up from the tunic. 
also level four and that requires string as well. So it looks like we need to make some string. String is just five weeds in a string maker. So we can go over to our weed farm. I left some room in here so we can easily put one of those down and start uh, level four clothing. Okay, string's being made. Uh, I fell a little behind when I moved the crate. I forgot to stop and restart the program because sometimes it gets stuck when you move a storage bin in the middle of a program. So weeds fell a little behind, but I think they'll catch back up. So they're making string here. And then down here I added a rocking chair with a dress and a rocking chair with a jumper. And then strings being brought in up here. And they grabbed it. Everything else is being made, so that needs the tunic, cotton cloth, and string. So their crates are almost full already, so good to go there. Next up is going to be level 4 food. Level 4 food is... So right now we're making level 3 stewed berries. So level 4 is just, oh, it looks like two stewed berries and one honey. And honey is made, made in a skip, skip, not sure. So I built one of those already, but we need a... Uh, they're right here. You can see it needs, it says it's empty, it needs bees. So we'll have to go out in the world and find some bees. I believe there are some down here. So if I chop this tree down, it'll give me a bee's nest and we can throw it in the skeep and it'll make us some honey. There's our happy bees. We've got four beehives. They're all feeding off of flowers, making honey. So they're happy. I have a guy transferring honey from this barrel. This guy just waits till these are full, scoops out the honey, puts it in the barrel. And I have another bot transferring honey from here down to the kitchen, which is over here. And just putting it in this barrel here getting ready for tier 4 food. Uh, so tier 4 food requires some upgrades of these guys. So let's see what they need. I think they need metal. Yeah, so metal, clay, crude torch, and stick. So metal is going to be done over here. Somewhere. Here there's metal deposit, so I just have guys picking metal up, putting it in the box, and we'll get a guy to transfer metal from here to just somewhere to the center of the base so they have ac easy access to it, which is what this crate's going to be here. In order to do so, I needed to make a wheelbarrow so that they could transfer large amounts of it at a time, otherwise, they can only carry like three of them. So I put up a little wheelbarrow station here. This spot just builds wheelbarrows, takes this stuff here on the bottom right of the screen. But I guess in order to get this bot to pick it up, all I gotta do is get his attention on the record. And uh, if I hold control and left click, it engages with the wheelbarrow. You see I'm moving around now. And I just stop the program, right click, shift and right, or I guess control, right click, lets the barrel go. And I can just hit play on this guy and he'll go pick it up. Now he's got the wheelbarrow. And then I can delete his program and replace it with something else. I'm just using this as if you click this button, it doesn't link the bot, it just downloads the program to the bot. And you can change it how you see fit. So I'm going to change this to uh, change this to this. Now he should come over here with a wheelbarrow. Here he comes now. And he'll grab from the crate. He'll grab from the crate and uh, transfer metal to the base. That way we'll have it for... I'll set up a builder to use it to build the blueprints and we should have our upgraded cauldrons and I, that way I can do level 4 food. So that'll give us level 4 clothing, level 4 food and we'll have to see what's next. One thing to note is I had to make sure this said that this was repeat until hands empty but it, or until hands full. It should say until held object full because he can't put anything on his hands because his hands 
already full with the wheelbarrow. It's the held object that needs to be full. So same thing on onload that until held object empty. And that way he'll transfer the metal. All right, we're making berry jam. I have uh, a couple bots doing it. Stop it so it's not so loud. Uh, the guy getting the berries, the bot, the bot getting the berries. He just takes from the stewed berry storage till his hands are full, which I think is only one anyway. And then moves to the, each cauldron and puts it in. Now he'll do the first one until his hands are empty, but he's allowed to skip it. So if it's the cauldron's full and he can't add it, he'll just move on to the next one. Now right now I only have one bot doing it, so the likelihood of him getting past cauldron 7 here is not very high. Uh, but once we have multiple bots on us doing it, we'll probably get all three cauldrons going. But I don't think we're producing enough berries products in the meantime to supply three cauldrons anyway. So I'm just kind of future proofing at this point to see if we can add more bots to the mix, if we can scale up pretty quickly. Uh, next up is level four. I believe they're going to require a toy. So our choices are a plush pony, which requires all the stuff down here. Notably, it requires two wool blankets. The doll requires one wool blanket. Since we're kind of short on wool blankets, we're going to go with the doll since it's going to be a little bit easier to produce. So we'll need to add a toy station and something to make buttons, which I believe is a wood shaping bench. So let's add that stuff in over here real quick. Not sure where it's at. There's the toy station. And what else do we need? A wood shaping bench. Looks like we already have one, but I'll make another one anyway. And I'm gonna set up an area over here next to our animals. Use this column for toy manufacturing. So I got my helper sign over here ready to come take out these bushes. I just gotta turn the bot on. I believe it's this one. Dig up yet. Yeah. So he'll come he'll come dig these up for me. And we'll put some fences in and start the toy stations. And then finally we'll work on level four housing.